Good morning or good afternoon, depending on whatever time you're watching this video. I'm currently making it in the afternoon, but welcome back to another video, guys. I'm going to try to make this a little quicker. I'm basically going to be showing you guys how to do the impossible shapes. I will put a picture right here and right there and one more right here of the shapes we are going to be doing. In the past, I did a tutorial on how to do the impossible triangle. I'm also going to be doing a lot more stuff with these impossible shapes. So if you guys want to see more of that, let me know. Um, yeah, if you guys don't know what impossible shapes are, they're like the, the illusions you look at on a shape, like where they fold inwards. It's, it's really complicated. So uh, we're going to start off with this shape right here. I, I, we're going to call it the impossible cube. So uh, I'm going to go into a time lapse and you guys just follow along. So first off, uh, you're going to need a pencil and some type of straight edge. I might mess up, you guys will probably see that. First off, what you're going to do is make a rectangle. So um, just make it similar to how I make mine. Okay guys, I'm going to sit down and then now what you want to do is make this. Like make another little rectangle on the inside. Okay guys, now is where it, where it gets a little tricky. Oh wait, no, back to the time lapse, I'm not done. Okay guys, so you should have something very similar similar to this. And then you um now if if you're if you're off a little bit, just uh, I did make mistakes and I went back and fixed them. But if you're off, just go back and rewatch it. Um Yeah, if you have any problems or you missed a step and you it's going too fast for you, let me know. In the comment section below and I'll make another video on this this is we still got more shapes after this so now what we're going to do is grab a sharpie and make this a lot neater so let's enter the time-lapse mode again Okay guys, I am done outlining it with Sharpie, but I'm not done yet. I'm gonna wait a few seconds for this to dry, and then you're gonna need an eraser. And uh, yeah, actually, I missed a spot real quick. Let me fix that. There we go. And I messed up right there, uh, but right now I'm just going to blow on it a little bit and then I'm gonna erase everything which is just the pencil marks that were left behind. And I'm gonna do this lightly just in case it is still drying. 
don't want to smear it. Now we're going to do the final part, which is shading it in. So we're going to enter the time lapse mode once again. Okay guys, this is the first shape. We have two more to go. On to the next one. It is right there. That is what it looks like. So we're going to basically start off with drawing a square. So here we go. Okay, now what we're going to do is cut off the edges a little bit. Okay, now we're going to erase the edges or the corners. You might not get this perfect the first time. This is far beyond my first time doing this and I still make mistakes. So it's going to take a while for you guys to get this. Now what we're going to do is just, just do what I do. So you see how this is right here? Right here we are going to make a line just a sh short one and then stop it and then right here same thing just a short one and then stop it same thing right here short line then stop it same thing right here short line then stop it Okay, see now what we're going to do is push, you see like the width of right here? Now you're going to uh, keep that in mind, the width. You're going to you're gonna draw the line a little longer. You see how this is like, a, uh, I don't know how long that would be. But uh, see that width and then this right here. So if it was like that, this width and this width should be just about the same. And you're going to do that to every side. I don't know if you guys know what I mean. This is going to be sloppy with the pen, so I will fix it when I do it with Sharpie. So it should look like this now. Now what we're going to do is these lines, we're going to make them go in just a little bit. This one it should be a little longer. Okay. Just follow what I do. Now we're going to get the Sharpie and we're going to do the same thing we did only with this one. Now we're going to get the Sharpie and do the same thing we did with this one only I'm going to use a pen or a fine Point. I don't know what to call this. It's a very thin sharpie. So here we go. Back to the time lapse. Okay guys, this is the impossible square. We have one more left, which is the hardest thing I I have ever tried to do. I'm it's probably going to take me multiple attempts, but what you want to do basically is have an oval. But up here make it a little Actually, you know what? Make a um circle. 
And you know what? Yeah, make an oval. Sorry, I keep changing my mind. Just make a normal oval. And then right here at the ends, make it just a little bit more flat. See, now this does not look right. Okay. Like what I mean by little flat is make the ends a little bit. You see how that is right here? How it's like a little bit flat, flatter. This is very tricky to do. So I'm um, like halfway. Like right here. This is what we gotta do. Try to keep it the same width, like not make it like where it's here that wide and then like over here, it's only like that wide. Try to make it, keep it equal. This is very tricky to do. I'm going to be really lucky if I get this on my first try. I think we got it though. Basically. So yeah, let's get the Sharpie and make it with the Sharpie. Now be very careful with this, like try to do it as best as you can. Okay, that's the impossible circle. And that is it for this video. There's so many more shapes that I can do. If you guys want to see me do more shapes or also known as a part two, let me know. Also, drop a like. If this gets uh, just five likes, I will do it as soon as possible. Also, guys, if you want to know how to make the impossible triangle out of Legos, uh, if you don't know what the impossible, impossible triangle is, it's right there. There's a picture. I know how to do it out of Legos. So uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, go drop a like and let me know if you want to see a part two. I will see you guys in the next video. Remember, never quit filming. Peace.